The process, like I said, starts about four months out, and um, there is um, a link that goes on the CBS website that we're casting for the next season of The Amazing Race. Um, Lynn Spielman has an incredible team of people that she sends out to different cities in the U.S. and um, either recruiting or we get casting tapes in. A lot of people are we're, putting we're up... We're really looking for people from all walks of life between 21 and... 71. 100 years old. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and, and, uh, and the whole idea that we have such a mix of cast is really that, you know, it's a mirror. You know, the, the, the old guy gets yelled at by the young kid and the young kid. I mean, that's, that's kind of how we do it. We, we like, of course, we like the whole 18 to 49 group involved in viewing the show. And I think this is probably the secret how we do it. But the bigger part of that was when we first came up with the show, I wanted something for everybody to watch the show, something that someone could relate to. You know, if you're watching your grandmother or your mother, exactly. your best friend, your brother, your sister, and also putting um, pairs of people together. You know, everybody says like the type A personality. Yeah, of course we want type A people who speak. This is a show, this is a reality show. We're not writing a script. You better be able to speak on camera. And you know, That's everybody that we cast, when we're, when we're casting them, when we're in the casting meeting, they always say that they can win. Oh, yeah, we're going to win. Every team says, we are the team that's going to win. We've been watching your show. You know, the fun thing now is we've got 10-year-olds that are applying for the show now because they're old enough, you know. And when we cross generations, I know we have a whole new audience of people watching the show. But to make it relatable, to make the relationship between the partners relatable, if it's a, it's a you know, a couple well, the, trying to rekindle the fire. It's not only that, or, it's also the backstory, you know. What, yeah, is the, what is the relationship between the team members and what's their what makes them like each other or kind of like each other. The first thing you can do is say, oh, uh, I'm not so safe with my wife right now, so we want to go on the Amazing Race and see where we really are and we can fix this. That is not the way to go. This is not a honeymoon. This is not a honeymoon. This is a good way to have a nuclear explosion go off. I mean, If your marriage is on the rocks, you will be divorced by the end of the Amazing Race. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to be like, oh, baby, I love you so much after this adventure. Because usually they're screaming at each other half of the time, you know. But it's nice when we actually see people who work well together yeah. and get along. Because Harmony works. It's possible. It works We've really well. We notice the people that do well on the race actually get along and listen to the other person, and and they get through things together rather than fighting okay. each other to get through things. So how important is casting in the success of a season? Ca Huge. The, ca the casting is is key. I mean, I can go to Himal Himalayas all I want. If I don't have a great cast in front of it, I got, I got nothing, you know? They have to be interesting. I mean, the, the funny thing is in a room with two chairs and we're sitting there with a group of people and we're talking to them, they've got their best, you know, they're putting their best foot forward. They're not necessarily those people sitting in the chair when they get out on the road. It's a whole different story. Because like Bertram said, they're watching the show 44 minutes once a week. Once they get out there on the road, they're all saying, this is so much harder than I thought it was. I had no idea that you guys didn't sleep or you didn't eat and you're tired. And and it's um, it's physically demanding and it's also mentally demanding. It's It, it hits every sense, smell, <laughs> sight, everything hits them like a brick wall when they get out there. What types of personalities are you looking for, are the traits you're looking for? Well, I mean, you have to have two people, like I said, with with very competitive spirits. Um, that want a sense that, that they want an adventure of a, of a lifetime that they know they can't experience and you know just going on a trip by themselves. People who are competitive even with each other as a team are also very good. A good sense of humor. If you can laugh at yourself, you you're, you won the battle halfway. Um, you don't necessarily have to be physically strong or super smart. You just have to have endurance and determination to be competitive to win and um, also people who want to experience travel and other people from different countries you know that have a desire to be out there you know just people who who need that adventure you know um, and possibly the money I know the money plays a factor well the money plays but a it doesn't minor, play until minor, later on yeah the money plays a minor factor most people want to do it because they want this incredible adventure but when they come towards the finish line, the money gets, uh, starts getting into play. Yeah.